What's happening? I'm filthy from corn. And uh, it's a little video we're putting together. Just wanted to give you a little, you know, little history of corn. We started out in the early, I don't know, I'd say about 90. Um, me, Monkey, and David were in a band called LAPD, and we had a different singer. And things didn't work out, so we, you know, got we got corn together. We found Jonathan, um, and when we found Jonathan, we just knew this was gonna be it. Ninety-two, I think we put the first corn album out. Back in the early days, what I was playing guitar. But, man, after I, a friend of mine showed me, like, the very beginning, early days, I'm talking, like, man, I don't even remember the year. I was young. Well, anyway, it was Flea from the Chili Peppers. And when I heard that, I was like, man, I want to do that. And then he had some raw footage of some videos of the Chili Peppers back in the day, and I saw Flea playing, and he was slamming on his bass so hard. I was like, I want to do that. Because I've always wanted to be, you know, I like banging on things. Like, I don't know. So that really inspired me to, to start playing bass. And But I was into more heavy music. So I was like, but why can't I take that to and play it on heavy music and just make the notes more, like, you know, heavier? And so, you know, and then I stumbled across Billy from Faith No More. And he was kind of doing that kind of thing. And it inspired me to mix the two together. And... Um, Later on, here comes Les Claypool. And after I heard those like three bass players, just, and, and on top of my heavy music I'm listening to at the time, like Metallica to Sepultura to, you know, Pantera to all that, I was like, I wanted to combine all this together into one. And that's what I did, and that's who I am now. <laughs> When we were trying to start out in the very beginning, we had a, a blend of, we used to call our, like our music like thrash funk because we had some songs that were kind of funky and like heavy at the same time. Heavy music back in the early day was called thrash. So when Jonathan first got with us, he's like, I really like the heavy music, but I don't like the funk, you know? And we knew we needed to go one way or the other. So we're like, well, let's just make it one direction. Let's just take it all that way. So we got rid of all the funk and just kept it just heavy, you know? And I wanted the five string bass because I just wanted a low string. But like, let's start writing songs on the low string. But we knew if we jumped back up to the E, we didn't like the way it sounded when, when singers sang high. We liked the low grungy, you know, low voice. And we're like, man, we don't want John to sing all high. So we just tuned our guitars down so he he didn't have a choice, even if he wanted to sing high, he couldn't because our strings are like ready to fall off the frets. So it was kind of a trick to like, oh, we'll sound heavier. The vocals won't be all high because, you know, we didn't want, we wanted like that low, heavy, grungy type, not grunge like, you know, Nirvana grunge. I'm talking like just the grunge of the voice, you know, like, and it worked, man. And that's how that really came about. And, and it was easier because even at the time, John's like, I'm not a high singer. We're like, yes. <laughs> good we don't want a high singer you know we were trying you know i'm don't get me wrong i like some of that i like queen's right but you know for the band that we were creating we were trying to stay everything low and heavy and it molded us into what corn became was this heavy groove band so i guess we had the foundation of the funk but it turned into a groove and you know we weren't into the fast drum beats and the type of things like that so it was just like more like a solid heavy groove and uh I guess that's what we are. It's like, there's like a lot of, um, I think there's a lot of soul to corn. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of hip hop to it that I, I don't know. It's not hip hop though, but the soul underneath of it, you know, like the bass lines and the drums are real soulful. So maybe that's why people might say that, or some people don't. I don't know, but I know it's real heavy. <laughs> I 
I get into this whole story, but uh, I'm actually putting a book out called Got the Life. You can pre-order it on Amazon.com, and you can check out the whole. It's like a like an autobiography type, um, inspirational you know book with um, pictures of me in there from childhood all the way up to you know when I had big hair in the 80s to like crazy just stages of my life and um you got to check this book out it's gonna your jaw is gonna hit the ground when you check it out it's gonna be crazy you know it's a crazy book so it'd be everything you want to know about corn um you know what and i did i just finished i'd like to tell you guys i just finished um producing a project called stillwell that's s-t-i-l-l-w-e-l-l that way you guys can dot com it. Um, and the artist's name is Q. And I, I played bass on it. And I played guitar on it. I've been practicing guitar a lot. I started out on guitar, for people that don't know. And um, I really started practicing. And, and I was playing guitar for like five, six hours a day working on this project. We got about 14 songs finished. Should be coming out real soon, probably later in um, 2008, coming up. Take a look out for it. It's real heavy and different. We're calling it street metal. We actually copyrighted the name, trying to, you know, take over a new sound out here. This is street metal. Um. And, you know, people that don't know, I'm always, like, rocking this gear right here, Tribal. Well, the owner is one of my good friends. We, you know, I hang out all the time with them. We go to dinner. We just hang out all the time. And, and uh, we actually collaborated, and I started, and I put a shoe out. It's a Fieldy shoe. You can get, you know, tribalstreetwear.com. And I'm actually putting a Fieldy 2 shoe out. So I got two different versions of this shoe. It's real cool if you guys want to check that out. Um... And as we speak right now, I'll probably be going home, jumping in my studio tomorrow. I'm working on a, a, a solo bass album. It's like jazz, fusion, funk, instrumental. Real, like, different. There's no, no vocals on it. Take a look out for that. That should be out probably the end of this year, too. This is uh, my my 10-year anniversary bass, K5. I've never played it. Actually, today's the first day. Um, I like K5 basses. You can order them. Um, and because they have active pickups, you know, like there's a battery in the back. So it gets that real hot sound that like that click sound, you know, um, and the strings I like, I like um, Dean Markley strings because they're bright and they stay bright for a long time. Um, I don't use a whole lot of effects. I, I do like the hyper fuzz pedal right here. It's different than all the other distortion pedals. It has like this warm... I don't know, just different sound to it. Um, and I use the, the bass synthesizer pedal too. It's a real cool pedal. You can get weird, just weird sounds out of it. Those are my two like main pedals that I use. And I really like the, uh, the um, my heads I've been using forever, the Mesa Boogie 2000s. I mean, they, if I personally, I like a lot of EQ and a lot of knobs and if you look at my heads, it looks kind of scary. They're like, it looks like, I don't know. Like, you're not going to know what you're going to do, but you can figure it out. Um, I use eight tens. Got to have the horn in the middle. It's like the knob in the back. You can turn the horn, you know, on and off. It gives you that click sound, too. That's the gear I like. <laughs> All 
All right, now you know a little bit about me and corn. If you need any other information and you need to, you know, just go to corn.com and you'll figure it out from there. Let's get into some lessons. <laughs>